Good morning, my name is Luis Fernando Bobadilla. I'm a Czech captain with Iberia. I've been here for the last 30 years at this company. Working with my colleagues today, he is uh, Alberto La Paz. And, uh, he, from uh, this plane. And uh, his name is Carlos Gomez. He's also a co-pilot, long experience in this fleet. And uh, basically what we're going to do today is uh, try to reach uh, Quito in one piece and then uh, reach uh, Guayaquil. We've managed it for the time being, so we hope we'll do uh, There's a huge difference on what we do in real life and what people see in the movies. In the movies, if there's an emergency, they see the pilots moving all their hands very fast all over the cockpit and then everything comes out perfectly and uh, they smile and they go and have a beer. We do not work that way. We use everything either what the ECAP tells us or what the checklist does. We, we even have a list here that if one of our computers should be reset, it tells us how we do it and we have to read it first and then do it. There is nothing we leave to memory, maybe because we're old and we, have to, we tend to run out of memory, but we do nothing out of memory. Everything is followed up either by a checklist or by any connection. No movie business here. I'd like to say a, a word about uh, Alberto and his relationship with me. Some people believe that uh, the captain does everything and uh, first officers are just here to, to be a counterweight so that the aircraft will not turn on its side. That is totally false, naturally. We are a team. Today we are three, other days we are two. I would never be able to do anything without them. They are not only uh, people that help me get the aircraft uh, where it should be but at the same time if uh, they are the ones that solve the emergencies they are the ones that form an essential part of this team and without them I would be absolutely nothing here teamwork is the most essential part of this uh, job knowing that you can rely on somebody you can rely on his opinions because they are technically knowledgeable they know what they are doing they have a lot of experience and at the same time they have the capability to criticize me in any of the decisions which I may take and that is something I appreciate. Not saying that everything I do is correct, which is not, but being able to tell me that some things are not correct and I will always follow their advice. And just one more thing I'd like to say myself. I'll take it all the girls. <laughs> <laughs> and they even let us fly once in a while, so yes. they're pretty generous. Oh, oh yeah, that would be nice because yeah. um, people don't know how we organize our jobs. Uh, every time one of us flies one leg. I flew the inbound leg, this is a difficult airport and our company has decided that Quito will be operated by a captain. He will do the next leg, which is uh, takeoff in Quito and landing in Guayaquil, and then Carlos, this time I got it right, will do takeoff in Guayaquil and uh, landing in Madrid. So we all share the same work, the same, the same uh, we have the same capabilities. The only difference between ourselves is that I am older, that is basically it. So, <laughs> and I will retire sooner. 30, 20, retard, 10. That's it, Carlos, you're the man. Wow. Ready for reverse. Four. And uh, they're coming in. We have four yes. rolling. Thank you. 6464. Back in the runway, standard now, 12175, Adios. 12175, bye-bye, thank you. What oh, the landing. <laughs> You're number two again, I'm number three. What can you do? Well, let the spectators judge. Uh, well, Carlos clearly was the winner, so he has to buy the beers.